all right guys what's going on welcome back to another video today we're out here at the Bowington. we're out in cousin james's kayak again and uh i wanted to go over to the presidio today and um see if i can pedal all the way towards the end and start fishing over there but it turns out cousin james's kayak has a little hole in it probably like a, i mean a li it's a little hole like you can't you really can't see it or feel it you know what i mean but from when it rained the other night or actually last night i think it rained last night but from when it rained i guess water got in the kayak so whenever i was loading it up i saw where that little hole is so i didn't want to try going out there to the presidio because really out there there's not really like just in case of anything the kayak were to fill up and stuff like that or start going under over there there's really not much bank that i can like dock off at in a hurry you know what i mean and as you can see out here at the Bowington, there is you know because of how low the water is there's so much bank flat bank i can hurry up and get to you know so uh yeah we just came out here instead and uh, let's see if we can make a day out of it i'm gonna go ahead and paddle to the back a little ways and then start fishing so i'll get back to you in a minute man all right guys change the plans boat ramps over here not too far from me and uh i'm going i'm gonna go ahead and just start fishing here fish back and then fish back towards the boat ramp and um, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to fish the right side of the bank all the way back. And then on the way back to the boat ramp, I'll fish the left side of the bank, you know. And uh, see if we get any bites. Oh. oh, man, that's not what I wanted. It's 1230 right now. About 66 degrees. But the sun's out, you know what I mean? So it is a little hot. But the water's cold, guys. I mean, the water's really, really cold. Now what I'm fishing... I'm fishing a weightless lunker log in the five inch in the green pumpkin purple color. Um, I really like this color, man. I, I, this color, let me show it to y'all real quick. I really like this color, guys. It's purple on the bottom, green pumpkin on top, you know. And man, this color and the green pumpkin blue flake by the Guggen Squad got to be two of my most favorite colors. You know what I mean? The bandito bug in this colors out at the Averhoff guys freaking kills it. I don't know what it is about this color, man, but they like it out there. And I'm fishing it weightless because one, the water is really, really low. So the bank is like, you know, up there towards the edge and all that stuff is not as deep as it's supposed to be, you know? So it doesn't have to sink as fast. And then like I've always said, these Guggen Squad Lunker Logs, man, they 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 got so much salt in them and they're so dense that they they sink pretty good already by themselves. You know what I mean? They don't really need the, the help of a weight unless you're trying to fish, you know, really, really deep and go ahead and put a weight on it. But the shimmy that they got, weightless, it's freaking beautiful, guys. And, you know, and I, that's why I really, really like these Lunker Logs, man. I fish a lot of the yum dingers also because the yum dinger they got that the the cali craw uh color and that also is one of my favorite colors by yum because man it it's just every time i use it it works you know what i mean but i don't have any more and i actually just found this pack of lunker logs in my bag man i was going through my bag throwing away old lures and stuff like that and i found this pack i didn't even know i forgot i had it but i got it from my boy todd shop man he's gonna be linked in the description his facebook is gonna be linked in the description so y'all can see everything that he has in stock and keep up like keep up with the shop and uh on every time they get new baits and he does a lot of raffles too guys he just did a jordan an abu garcia jordan lee raffle um I don't know if he's put it out there yet, but I'm going to put it out for him. He also has the loose KVD reel, you know. I think he has a combo, either the combo or the reel, but he has a loose KVD. He just got some of the Guggen Squad rods also. So, man, like, don't sleep on my boy, guys. Y'all need anything. So, like I said, guys, he's gonna be his uh, Facebook is going to be linked in the description. Y'all click on that after watching this video, and y'all check it out, man. Go ahead, and, and it's it's called the, the Real Bait and Tackle Shop. Look him up on Facebook. Y'all are going to like what he has, man. He has a lot of good stuff. Our first bite of the day, guys. Oh, yeah, definitely. Got him. Oh, no. Still there. Still there. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Thought I lost him for a little bit. He's not bad. He's not bad. Right in the... Uh, no, I got him in the bottom of the mouth. Oh, but he is cold. Check him out. Check him out. Oh, yeah. Got him through the lip. Let's back up away from here real quick, though. The wind, the wind is pushing me this way a little bit. 
Check them out, guys. Not bad. Not a bad size. Not a bad first fish. Uh, yeah. A good, what, 13, maybe 14 incher. Nothing down his throat. Got a little belly on him. Really green, but he is cold. Uh, it's been a really long minute I've been able to catch a fish. Finally got one. Got one on the kayak. No skunk today, boys. No skunk today. Get him back in. Boom. Straight down. So we got one. Or we got some grass. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, he came off. Dang it. Little JD special. Came off. As soon as he came up, he came off. See, now as y'all can tell, I'm on a little curve. River opens up a little bit, so now the wind is pushing me, you know? But nothing we can't handle. Let's make a little bit of a switch. I'm gonna try throwing around the, the rattling Ned by the Guggen Squad. You hear the rattles in there? I believe this color is dirty rice. Let's throw this around for a little bit, see if we can get something on this. Now, preferably, you wouldn't want to throw something that small, uh, like on a bait caster. You'd want to throw it on some kind of spinning reel. But I do not have any spinning reels. I really don't like fishing spinning reels much, so I don't own any. But like, preferably, that'd be the best type of setup to throw something like this, you know. But yeah, let's see if we can see if we can get something off of this. And there's the rattling neds and and I'm using these uh I forgot the I forgot the name of the hook guys but like the name of the brand but it's a it's a ned rig it's a ned rig hook right but it's um it's an extra wide gap or whatever that way you can actually like like Texas rig it instead of have the hook exposed like on a normal traditional uh ned rig hook you know and the hooks and the rattling nets got them both at my boy Todd shop. You know, like I said, that dude has everything. Hooks, baits, um, hard plastics, you know what I mean? Regular soft plastic baits. He has the garlic dip. He has everything you'll ever need. Pegs and stuff like that. Weight pegs and everything, you know? Anything you'll need, he'll be able to... He'll have it, you know what I mean? And then the, co the cool thing about Todd Damien is like... If he doesn't have something that you're looking for, he'll order it for you. You know what I mean? It's pretty badass. Finally, oh wait, what the hell? I thought it was a bluegill of the best of hazard. God, do you, <laughs> little guy. I felt the little bitty pecs and all that stuff. I thought it was a bluegill just messing with the bait. No, it's a little bass. Damn, he had it for a while, but luckily I did not gut hook him. Just got him really back in the mouth, kind of close to the pinchers, or to the crushers, my bad. See if we can uh, get him off without damaging him. Let it go, guy. Did you let it go already? Okay, he has let it go, but now I gotta work around the gills and I'm not trying to hurt him. There you go. Got him out. Got him free. Little JD special. I'll just cast it around in here just in case there was something. And we got little Homer. <laughs> a big shout out to my boy Homer. Um, he has a YouTube channel also, guys, called Fishing with Homer. Um, I'll link that down in the description also. Y'all go ahead and check him out. He hasn't been able to fish in a little bit, but this one's for you, my guy. <laughs> Came off. The hook didn't expose, man. Dug the hook in too deep. Huh? I know, man. And the the GoPro turned on too late. Huh? He is. All right, guys. I don't know what it was. But I just cast it out over here and I scraped something big. Let's see if it'll come back. It, it kind of like, I cast it right there, same spot, and it darted that way. But I kind of saw like, like if it did a U-turn or something, you know? 
Couldn't see exactly what it was. I just saw the weight, you know what I mean? Ooh, good cast. Man, I don't know what's in these trees, man. But every time I cast in there, I spook something. You know what I mean? I want it to be a bass. I keep hearing splashes, too. I want it to be a bass, man. But it could be some tilapia. If there even still is tilapia. I don't know. I haven't seen tilapia here in a minute. Used to see them over there in the by the boat ramp a lot. You know what I mean? But I just I can't see them. I don't have any glasses on either. You know, so I, I can't I can't see what keeps getting spooked and splashing around and stuff. And then I want to get in there too, but it's pretty freaking hard. If I was in the boat, I could probably be able to like pitch it in, but sitting down this close is kind of hard, you know what I mean? I ain't that good yet. See, over there, boom. Something's spooking. Getting the bike. Getting the bike, got him. Damn it. Please tell me it's still there. Yep, it's still there. Got him. <laughs> Got him out. Got him out. Finally, another damn bite, guys. We're two curves away from being back at the boat ramp, man. Whew. Look at the pattern on this guy. Look at the pattern on him. Nice chubby cold guy. Hell yeah. Get him back in the water. Boom. Man, and I knew I should have hit these trees earlier. But like I said, I wanted to go down fishing one side and then come back fishing this side. You know what I mean? Because I've had luck at these trees before. And I couldn't wait to get here. I just had to beat up all that, all that other section, you know? We're getting another little bite. Or am I on a tree? Or grass? I don't feel no nah, grass. Yep. Yeah, and then the hook's exposed too, so it was just grabbing on, and that's why it felt like I might have been getting a bite. And y'all, look at this film. This I don't know what kind. Of, I don't know what it is, but there's this film on the top of the water, man. And it's, I don't know what it is. It's like, it's just a white film on top of the water. It could be from like the trees and the grass dying off in the water. Or I don't know what it is, guys, but it looks weird. <laughs> Go find another spot to fish. I don't want to fish in this. This looks, it just looks weird to me. Let's get around this curve and then see how it is over there. Got a bite. Get out of the tree. Get out of the tree. There you are. There you are. That's not bad. A little upgrade. A little upgrade. Not bad. Let's hurry up and get him. Hurry up and get him. Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Never mind. He's not that big, but yeah. Yeah, a little upgrade, man. Come on. Let it go. Let it go. There you go. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah, man. It's not bad. It, it is an upgrade. It, I want to say he's probably maybe 14 to 16 inches. You know, he is a little bit longer, a little bit thicker than the other fish we were getting. But he does still have a small mouth, you know. 
But, I mean, it's not bad. And I cannot complain. A fish is a fish, right? <laughs> and let him go. Oh, go down slowly. And I caught him. I came around this corner. I came from around the corner where all that film stuff was. And it got, like, clear again, right? So I cast out right there. Got it on the fall. Ugh. Picked it up on the fall. Let's rig back up, guys, and get back in. All right, guys. I hit up all this side already. Like, all this side back here. And then all this, like, the... All that that goes back to the boat ramp right i hit that all the time when i come out here bank fishing i'm always fishing that because that's pretty much all you can fish so i'm just gonna start right here and fish this side of the river again just a little too close a little too close for comfort but yeah i mean i always fish this side from right here all the way the hill down that way all the way back to the boat ramp i always i always fish that you know every time i'm up on the bank bank fishing I, I don't really have that much luck, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna start right here and then fish all those trees, try to beat up those trees before we take off. See if we can get anything. Let me change the battery for the GoPro, guys, before it dies on me. We have one pick it up and run with it, guys. Pick him all the way the hell from over there, from by that tree, right here, right under the freaking. Right under the kayak and quick. You know what I mean? That dude was burning. But when I set the hook, I pulled it right out of his mouth. Huh. It's weird. I didn't get no head shakes, no nothing. He just picked it up and ran with it. Y'all can't tell me this don't look like crappie goodness. You know what I mean? But I've tried crappie and fishing it before. I have never pulled one out of this spot. I've actually ever only caught two crappie in my life. And that's at the bridge that's upriver from here. Um, caught him on a crankbait when I was out there bass fishing. But that was before the state. The st there used to be a hole, like a like under the bridge, was just piled up with nothing but driftwood from all the floods and stuff. And um, I guess the crappie liked it, you know what I mean? And that's where they hung out. A lot of big, a lot of big bass hung out under there too. But I don't know. I guess I guess the state decided to clear it before anything happened to the bridge or anything, you know. They went out there with the big old crane from the street and they just reached down and took out all the trees, all the driftwood. Another one? Yeah, got another one. And they cleared it up, guys, and ever since then I ain't been able to catch another crappie there. Got you. Oh, what the hell? He let it? He spit it out! Right here, I saw him. What the? My bad. <laughs> I don't know why my voice got like that. Look at this. Look at this. What happened here? What happened here? That plastic ain't no good no more. Ooh, every time I open up that box, I smell nothing but that slanch sauce by the Google Squad, man. It smells good. All right. So that makes four landed fish two three and then four missed fish gonna be another one of those days jd god dang let's see if we can recover from that land at least one or two more fish before we get out boat ramps over there can you see it yep boat ramps right there All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and stop the video right here. Four o'clock in the afternoon, so it was not that bad of a day. Got four landed fish. Uh, I believe six missed fish, but it's not that bad of a day, man, for well, three and a half hours, four hours. It ain't bad at all, guys. So uh, walking up the boat ramp, I'm going to go get the car, load up the kayak, go on home, man. Thank you for watching another video, guys. Appreciate all the love and support. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if y'all already ain't. Catch you on the next one, man. Peace.